Hey y'all, it's JB. What I'd like to do for you today is a sort of alignment procedure. What can happen sometimes, you see, is that your energy field or your aura can get to be out of sync with your physical body. It's nothing to be too worried about. It's not going to hurt you or make you sick or anything like that. Um, it can just sort of make you perform not at your best. Uh, it can slow you down a little bit, maybe make you feel a little foggy. Uh, you might struggle with making decisions or things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin with a few diagnostic exercises in which I do some things to determine exactly how misaligned or out of sync you are and in what ways. And then I'll be doing some gentle Reiki work to get you realigned and you should finish up the session feeling absolutely great. All right. Okay. So before we start, I do want to let you know that I'm going to be examining you, mostly looking at your eyes and your aura or your energy field. I will be interacting with your energy field. I won't be touching your physical body at any time. However, as I'm reaching out and touching or testing or interacting with your energy field here, you may feel warmth from my hands. You may feel movement as I move my hands around. You may feel a slight um, tingling sensation. Those are all normal. Okay? All right. So, I won't bore you with all the technical details. But I'm going to be using your eyes as my primary source for examining the alignment of your physical body. So you'll see me going back and forth a lot between looking at your eyes and looking at the energy field around you. Okay? Great. So to begin with, I'm going to take this pen light right here. I'd like you to look at just the tip right here. And I'm going to move it back and forth. Please follow it with your eyes. Good. And just to help make things a little more clear, as you follow this, I'm going to ask you to take a few deep breaths, if it's comfortable for you. You can begin by breathing in through your nose. Good. Hold it. Now breathe out. Good. Now continuing to follow this, I'm going to ask you to breathe in through your nose. Good. Hold it. Breathe out. Perfect. Alright, one more time. Again, following it with your eyes. Breathe in. Hold. A nice, long exhale. Great. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn this light on. I'm going to ask you to look right here at my nose. I'm going to be moving the light around a little bit. You can blink if you really need to, if you're uncomfortable, but as best you can, try to keep your eyes open and looking at my nose. Very good. Okay, so looking right here, I'm going to bring the light in. Out. Good. Bring the light in and out. Beautiful. Okay. Still looking at my nose. Interesting. Okay. Look at my nose. All right. Okay. Blink a few times for me, please. Eyes closed. 
eyes are open, eyes closed, eyes are open, eyes closed, eyes are open. Beautiful. Perfect. You're doing a wonderful job. Again, if you can look at my nose right here, I'm going to bring the light up. Good. Looking right here, I'm going to bring the light up. Good. Now as you continue to look right here, I'm going to bring the light quite close and away. Bring the light quite close and away. Good. As you continue to look right here, bring the light close and away. Let's see that one more time. Looking right here. Wow. Okay. All right. That's interesting. You have a very unique aura. I'm beginning to get a sense. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Keep looking right here, please. Beginning to get a sense for the type of misalignment that you have, and it's a really subtle misalignment, but it's a unique pattern. It's not necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, it's pretty neutral, it's just unique. It's not something I see very often. Look right here, please. Okay. Well, I'm really glad you came to see me today. I definitely know I can help you with this. So this time I'm going to ask you to follow the light. Good. Eyes closed. Eyes open. Eyes closed. Eyes open. Eyes closed. Eyes open. Beautiful. Okay. Following the light. Alright, I'm getting some really good information here. Just gonna check the goodness. Keep looking at the light, please. Just gonna start to get a sense of the texture, your energy field, resilience. Keep following the light. Good. Alright. Put the light away for now. I'm going to grab my little pointer here. Alright. So, for this next uh, alignment procedure, while I'm still getting a sense of exactly what I'm going to want to do here, do you see this chart right here? Okay. I'm going to be pointing to some different letters on the chart. I'm going to be asking you to read them off as best you can. And again, I'm going to be alternating between looking at your lovely eyes and looking at your very interesting energy field here, okay? So, if you could please look right here. What is this letter, please? Mm hmm And what's this one? Good. Okay. What's this letter right here? Could you say it again, please? Alright. What's this letter right here? Mm hmm This one? Good. What's this one? Can you say it again, please? Alright. Okay. This one right here? Okay. And... This one right here? Mm hmm What's this letter right here? Good. This one. Say it again, please. Mm hmm. And what's this one right here? Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna move around a bit randomly here. A little slightly faster pace. Don't worry too much about getting everything exactly right. This is just a testing procedure. Um, it's not so much about accuracy as it is about getting your mind and body and energy to activate in certain ways, okay? Alright, so, what's this one? Good. And this one? Beautiful. This one? Mm-hmm. This one? Good. What's this one? Yeah. And this letter? Mm-hmm. What's this letter? Yeah. This one. Good. This one. 
fade again, please. Beautiful. This one. Good. This one. Mm -hmm. And this one. Great. Alright. Another little following exercise here. So I'd like you to take a look just at the tip of the pointer right here. We'll be moving it around a little bit. What you're going to notice is that it'll get easier or more difficult to see depending on what's behind it. And that's intentional. Just do your best to follow it, okay? So keeping your eyes on the tip of the pointer. following it, please. Mm -hmm. you can do a few more deep breaths for me as you follow the pointer in. Hold and out. Beautiful. Following the tip. In. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Very good. One more time, breathing in. Hold, breathe out. Good. All right, let me go ahead and grab a couple tools right here. All right. So I'm gonna take this silver bracelet and I'm gonna hold it in a few different spots. I'm gonna ask you to look right through the middle of it, okay? So looking right through the middle, and now, mm hmm now, very good, now, just gonna, okay, and now, very good, all right, now, Right through the middle, please. Good. Turn up a little bit. Look right through the middle. Come on. Okay. Looking right through the middle. Looking right through the middle. Good, you're doing beautifully. Okay. Looking right through the middle. Good. All right. Some more exercise. Mm, what did I do? Let's do. I'm just gonna take this ring from my finger here. Okay. A little more challenging. Try to look right through the middle of it, please. Right through the middle here. Get a little to the side. Down. No. Up. There we go. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna pull back a little bit. Keep looking through the middle, please. Right. Continuing to look through the middle. This little ring, please. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna bring it a little closer. Keep looking through. Closer again. Right. This side. Keep looking right through the middle. Beautiful. Now, if I can just reach right here. Got interesting. Of course, your energy field covers your whole being, your whole body here, but it has certain anchor points where it's more firmly attached. And those can contribute to 
lose alignment if they're not quite attached with the right degree of um, resiliency from the anchor to the edge. So I'm just gonna. Okay. I've got a really interesting spot right here that I'm gonna want to tend to. And right here. All good. So, I'm going to do just a little more with the light here, and then I think I'll probably be good to move ahead and start doing the alignment process. How are you feeling? Okay, you're doing really well. Go ahead and look at my nose, please. Right and out. Very good. Look at my nose. I know. Good. Okay. So again, look at my nose. Going my side to side. Good. And now, eyes closed. Eyes open. Eyes closed. Eyes open. Eyes closed. Eyes open. Beautiful. have a really interesting energy field. It has a sort of unique um, pattern to it, a unique texture that I don't see very often. Um, of course, the energy field is sort of like a fingerprint where no two peoples are the same. But there are, look at my nose please, there are certain, certain patterns of movement, certain textures, certain things like that, that um, we usually see a lot of variations on, but you've got some stuff going on that I have rarely have ever seen. It's really interesting. So I am really glad that you came in today. Keep looking at my nose, please. Because getting to work with unique energy fields like yours is really fun. It's a joy for me. Um, but also, I think because of the unique build and the way that you're anchors here are a little bit angled in a slightly unconventional way. It just maybe makes you a little more prone to misalignment. Do you notice that? That you can kind of go from um, feeling okay to feeling kind of off pretty easily and that you don't always have an explanation for it. be interested to know that there are all these other things that make an energy field unique. Let me just, I'm just going to reach right in here and, okay. uh, Some energy fields are warmer or cooler. So if you had to guess, would you guess that you have a warmer energy field or a cooler one? That's right, very good. Good instinct, so you know yourself very well. Okay. So, following the light, please. Yeah. I think I know exactly what I want to do here. Alright. So, let's see. I'm going to start um, by just a little gentle sort of like palpating and massaging of your energy field to kind of loosen it up a little bit, make it a little more flexible, a little more pliable is probably the right word. Just kind of pull 
feeling, letting go. It's actually very healthy. It's sort of like um, those kind of stretches. It's sort of like yoga <laughs> for your energy field. Just making sure that it stays resilient. sort of helps to keep things moving, flowing. Your energy field is never static, it's always constantly kind of swirling and moving. And we want it to stay that way, depending on how you're feeling or what's going on with you, it might be moving a little faster, that's if you're more energized or anxious or just otherwise kind of feeling intense or fast. Um, if you're feeling more peaceful or if you're depressed or even just sleeping or slow, it tends to move a little more slowly. So that's another useful thing. And what I can do is I can look at your anchor points here I can get a sense for the way that your energy field will sort of like bounce back and move around it informs me as to how well aligned it is. There's almost like a, a subtle rhythm in the way that it um, moves around you and a healthy aligned in sync energy field will um, have a pretty consistent or at least complementary rhythm throughout where it's either all doing the same thing or even if it's not um, it'll sort of uh, the, the rhythms will sort of complement each other however if you're misaligned even a little bit like we're seeing a little bit here with you look a little bit off. Okay. Alright, so... I think you're nice and warmed up here. Good. Okay. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some of the alignment procedures. Let me grab a little bit too. Once again, I'm going to ask you to look directly through this at my nose. Okay. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Good. Now, looking through it right here. Okay. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna get this point right here. Look through it. There we go. Okay, so looking through it. Close your eyes. Open your eyes, looking right through here. Close your eyes. Eyes. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Beautiful. Okay. Now switching to this little guy right here. Look through it. Right through the middle. Good. Alright. One more time. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Very good. Alright. So next, we're going to do a couple of exercises that involve 
visualization and word association. With both of these, it's not so much important that you be accurate as it is that you respond promptly, okay? So again, this isn't a quiz, it's just about activating certain things in your mind, body, and energy field in a certain way, okay? And I know not everyone can visualize things very easily, some people can't visualize things at all, so um, just adjust as best you can. For instance, if I tell you to imagine uh, a green circle, if you can't actually picture that, maybe just say to yourself, green circle, something like that, okay? But if you can visualize it, please do. And it is up to you whether you want to have your eyes open or closed for this part. Hmm. Let me just get in here real quick. Nudge this just to the side. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to ask you to imagine a square. Imagine a green square. Good. Now imagine a triangle. Imagine a yellow triangle. Beautiful. Imagine a rectangle. Imagine a blue rectangle. Good. Okay. Now imagine a circle. Imagine a red circle. Perfect. Okay. You're doing really well. Can already see a big difference here. Imagine a square. Imagine a pink square. Good. Okay. So we're gonna do a little word association. Let's see over here. Um, so for this part, I'm gonna be saying a series of words. And I want you to just say the a different word, the first one that pops into your head. It doesn't have to be a particularly good answer. It doesn't even necessarily have to make sense. Um, again, it's just about activating certain things in your mind, in your energy field, okay? So let me actually work on this spot right here for a second. All right. I say the words once again, and it's okay, you can say it um, out loud, or you can say it silently in your head, it's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and say a word, and you're going to say the first word it makes you think of, okay? So, purple, cat. Open. Closed. Jump. Down. Broken. Cow. Country. Ball. 
was good, uh, just so I can see something here. I want to try that a couple more times with different words. So, a new one this time. Ball. Okay. And ball. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to go back to a little more visualization. Slightly different this time. I'm going to ask you to visualize a few things, and then I'm going to ask you some questions about what you are visualizing. Again, it doesn't matter if it's accurate, it doesn't matter if it's a good answer, it doesn't matter if it even makes sense. Just answer as promptly as you can. Now, I want you to picture a tree. How tall is the tree? Okay. And again, you can answer out loud or in your head. I'm more looking for the response here in your eyes and in your energy field. Okay. Now, there are two people sitting on a blanket beneath the tree, and they're having a picnic. They're eating something. What are they eating? Okay. There's a bird that flies down from the tree and lands on the blanket for a moment. What color is the bird? The bird flies back up to a branch with a number of other birds. Look at the birds on the branch. Look at the birds on the branch and count them for me. How many are there? Okay. Now, imagine you're sitting next to a river. And as you're sitting next to the river, you put your hand. the water cold? Or is it warm? Okay. You see, floating on the surface of the river, a toy. A toy that's just floating on the water. What kind of toy is it? Good. Further upstream, you see a box box that's floating down the river toward you. It gets within reach, and you take it out of the water. Somehow it is pretty dry. It doesn't feel like it got wet inside. So you open up the box to see what's inside. What's in there? Right. Finally, you're standing in front of a house. How big is the house? Good. Walk up to the front door and knock on it. How many times do you knock? Beautiful. The door opens, and someone you like very much is standing there. Who is it? Good. Right. Just a little more word association. I want to check something right here. So I'm going to say a few words. Say the first word that pops into your head. Envelope. Puppy. Carrot. Closed. Garbage. 
garden. Simple. Upside down. All right, I think we are almost done here. Let's do one more little test here. Take this all the way right here. Look through it, please. And as you look through it, I'm just going to bring the light up. Good. A little bit. Keep looking through it. Beautiful. Eyes closed. Eyes open. Eyes closed. Eyes open. Eyes closed. Eyes open. Beautiful. Looking through it over here. Okay. Eyes closed. Eyes open. Eyes closed. Eyes open. Eyes closed. Eyes open. Beautiful. Wow. What a difference. Let me go ahead and put this away. smooth it down a little bit here. Okay. So you are really well aligned. Your energy field and your physical body are really much more in sync than when you came in. Can you feel the difference? Okay. And this is the kind of treatment that you can do as often as you like. Even if you come in every day, it's not going to hurt you. I do recommend getting your alignment checked at least once a month. A lot of people do it once a week. But you'll kind of get a sense for how often you need it done. But it really was such a joy to work with you and your very interesting aura. I like it a lot. It's really enjoyable to work with and you sat so well for this. So thank you for that. You made my job very easy. So thank you. Now, if you'd like, you can stay here for a little bit and rest. Take a nap. Or you can head out and continue with your day. Either way, it's absolutely fine with me. I'm just going to thank you one more time for spending this time with me. And I look forward to seeing you again the next time you come in. Thank you. Hello and welcome on in. Really glad to have you here today. Have you had one of these treatments before? Okay, well I'm just going to give you a quick description of how it works. Um, are you familiar with the uh, pore strips that used to be real popular a while back? I think they're still sold, but basically the idea was that you put this kind of plaster-like strip onto your face and you let it dry and then you yank it off and when you're done what it's done is it's kind of lifted a lot of the dirt and blockages from your pores out and you can see it on the strip afterwards have you used those well they're really satisfying um this is a similar concept but it's for your energy for your energy field okay so what we have is these special organic, sustainably farmed cotton strips, and we soak them in a special proprietary blend of herbs and oils that's mixed together to make almost a paste-like formula. Don't worry, it's not going to irritate your skin. It's perfectly suitable for all skin types, including sensitive and those who have uh, skin allergies. We're very careful about that. Um, we 
place them onto your bag. This is just a plain cotton strip. This one hasn't been soaked in the solution yet. But we place it onto your body, on your back, all the way down your spine, lining up with where your chakras are, okay? We kind of massage them on a little bit. They stick on there. We give them a little while to dry. And then once we're done, we very gently pull them off. And the blend that we use along with this special cotton that we get farmed just for us, um, it draws the negative energy, the stuck energy, any clogged energy that might be slowing you down. It draws it right out of your auric energy field into the cotton strip and it's pulled away. Yeah, it's really wonderful. Feels great. You're gonna leave here feeling fresh and new, okay? Yeah, so to start with, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a little feel for your energy field. Then I'll go ahead, I'll move around back. I'll go ahead and apply a series of these strips to the back of your head, the back of your neck, going down your back. We'll uh, wait a few moments for those to dry. Uh, what I usually like to do during that time is do a little guided relaxation. And then I will gently pull each of the strips off, uh, taking any stuck energy along with it, okay? Yeah, so I don't know how you've been feeling lately. Things have been a little wild out there for a while now, I know, but uh, we're noticing that a lot more people have stuck energy than usual. And just to be clear, this isn't anything you need to be alarmed about. Pretty much everyone gets it. It's um, not a scary or really bad thing. It's not gonna make you sick or anything like that. It just kind of is extra energy that's slowing you down maybe preventing you from functioning as well as you could. I kind of like to compare it to how some people will carry around a purse or a bag, and over time they collect more and more stuff in there, so it gets heavier and heavier, and a lot of that stuff they don't even need on a daily basis, so it's nice to do a nice clean out once in a while. So that's all we're doing. We're doing a little clean out, getting out some of the extra stuff you don't need anymore, and you're gonna leave here feeling fresh and light and just fabulous, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put this down, and how are you feeling today? Mm -hmm. All right, and have you been experiencing any symptoms of illness or anything like that recently that I should be aware of? Okay. Do you have any particular areas of concern? Um, even though we're just placing the strips along your chakra lines here, it is effective for whole body treatment, um, both physically as well as mentally and emotionally. So if you have any specific physical concerns, anything mentally or emotionally going on, even if it's just feeling a little bit blah, you know, no problem is too big or too small for us to at least help a little bit with this treatment, okay? All right, so with that in mind, is there anything in particular that you'd like me to focus on treating or relieving today? All right, yeah, so I think I have the perfect approach for you in mind. Um, I think I'm going to do this sort of little crisscross pattern that I do sometimes that I think will be really effective in your case. Um, to begin with, is it okay if I get a little feeling for your energy field? I won't be actually touching your body at this point, but once I get around to the back, I'm going to have to just to touch those points in the back as I apply the strips, okay? All right, so it's okay for me to check? All right, so let's see. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm already getting a sense. Let me just, just pull 
checking the uh, resiliency of your energy field. I like to pull a little bit out and then let it go. See how fast it kind of snaps back or returns. Hmm. Have you been getting enough sleep lately? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I think this is going to be the perfect treatment for you. I think... I think this is perfectly suited to... There we go. To treat all the stuff you're concerned about. And maybe even some stuff you didn't notice. Sometimes we have stuff that's been bothering us for so long that we forget it's even bothering us because we forget how it feels to feel normal or just feel good. <laughs> a lot of people leave here saying, wow, I didn't even realize that this thing or that thing was bothering me until it stopped. Okay. And we do find that this is a treatment that's more effective the more times you have it done, but we do usually see the biggest benefit, the biggest difference after the first treatment. Uh, however, if we do this first treatment and you feel like you want to come back in for more, that's perfectly fine. So, you can go ahead and just sit right there and get as comfortable as you can. Um, is the robe that you're wearing comfortable? Okay. Yep. So, I'm going to go ahead and untie it in the back. And uh, everything is all set up over there. Just a couple things I like to mix together right before we start. Is the room temperature okay for you? If you'd like, I can make it a little cooler or a little bit warmer. The strips themselves are going to have a nice, very lightly warming effect on your skin. Okay. Alright, well, with that, I'm going to go ahead and move around back and get started. Okay. Alright, so I would like to go ahead and open up your gown here in the back. Is it okay if I do that? Alright, thank you. So I'm gonna undo the top tie right here. And the bottom one. Alright. So, uh, what I would like to do to start is I'd like to just gently touch each of the points on your back where I'm going to be placing the energy strips just to prepare you for where they're going to be going. You have seven main chakras. Everyone does. The top one is way up here at the top of your head and the bottom one is down um, more towards the bottom of your spine. And don't worry, I don't think my hands are going to feel cold on your back. I have this little ceramic hand warmer thing over here. And I <laughs> use that regularly to make sure that my hands are nice and warm before putting them on anyone's skin. And we'll be starting here. And this is actually the one that we're going to be doing last, okay? You are going to have two here that are going to be going on your head. Some people worry about their skin or their hair, but I do have a slightly different process for this part of your body. 
I make sure I let everyone know that it's not going to mess up their scalp or their hair or anything like that. I'm very careful. So up here, on the top of your head, that's uh, going to be your crown chakra. Moving down a little bit, I'm going to be putting one right on the back of your head, right here. Feel that? So that's going to correspond with your third eye chakra, which is um, right between your eyes and up a little bit. And moving down to right here in the back of your neck. I'm going to be putting one here to correspond with your throat chakra and then moving down between your shoulder blades and down a little bit right here in your back. The energy strips I put here are going to be corresponding with your heart chakra and down a little bit to kind of your mid-back area right here. These energy strips are going to correspond with your solar plexus chakra, your third chakra. Going down a bit here to your lower back, all the way down here. This is your sacral chakra, and I'm just going to warn you <laughs> before I touch it. The next one is going to be your very lower back, like almost the base of your spine. Be very gentle and respectful when I touch that area. I know some people are totally comfortable with it. Some people get a little nervous. It makes you uncomfortable. Just tell me to stop. No worries. If I uh, get to that spot, and even if you think you're going to be comfortable with it, but then it kind of freaks you out when I get down there, uh, just say up, or up a little bit please, or no thank you, <laughs> anything like that. And I can do the energy strips up a little bit higher, and it'll still be really effective, okay? Alright, so that almost base of your spine point is the ideal spot for the root chakra, your first or lowest primary chakra. But again, I can move the strips up a little bit and they'll still work really well. Okay? So just indicate that you'd prefer that when we get there. Okay, so just to review, the very first place I'm going to put them is actually down at the bottom here at this root chakra. Then we'll move up to the sacral, lower back, solar plexus, your mid-back area. Then we'll go up higher for your heart chakra. Then we'll go up to the back of your neck, right here for your throat chakra. That is the fifth chakra. Going up to the back of your head here. That's going to be second to last, your third eye chakra. And then we'll finish up at the top of your head here. Okay? All right, so I have all the ingredients. Warmed and everything's already measured and lined up and ready to go. I just like to wait until the very last moment to mix it all together so it's super fresh. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a moment here to mix up the paste. And then one by one, I will be dipping the strips into the paste, placing them on your back, once we've applied all of them, bottom to top, we'll take a short break to let them kind of work their magic. And at that point, I will take you through a brief guided relaxation. And when we're done with that, I will go ahead and start removing all the energy strips. Once again, starting at the bottom and working my way up to the top. Oh, and I should have mentioned, where's my spray bottle? I have a super mild cleaning solution right here. It's also been warmed to a comfortable temperature. And I'm going to begin by spraying that all down the back of your neck and your back. And just doing a quick wipe with the cotton material here just to prep and cleanse your skin. And I'll finish up with that as well, okay? Yeah, just to make sure there are no little bits of the dried paste or anything like that left on your skin when you leave. Alright, you ready? Great. So let me begin by gently spraying your back here and giving you a quick wipe down. Alright, just gonna give you a quick 
down here, starting all the way up here in the top of your head. Going down the back of your head. Back of your neck. I'm just going to sweep it right down, all the way down the length of your back here. Beautiful. All right, now, if you'll excuse me for just a moment, I'm going to go ahead and mix up the paste over here. Grab the bowl and go ahead and add all the dry ingredients. One, two, three, four. Just a pinch of this good stuff right here. Perfect. Alright, now let's go ahead and add the... Oh, it looks like it's settled a little bit. Let's go ahead and shake it up. Fizzy sound is exactly what we want to hear. Just kind of activating the ingredients in the paste. Okay. Just kind of swirl that around a little bit. You know what? I think I could. scoop. Okay. Swirl it around. Doesn't that smell good? Okay. Let's take this. And okay, and let's start in a little Perfect. I'm gonna put the bowl down for a moment and let that thicken up a little bit. And grab my pile of cotton cloth strips. of these in here to start 
so cute. And while I do that, We are all ready to go. So once again, starting at your root chakra here, I am going to place two of these cotton strips right into the paste here. I'm gonna soak them for a moment and then I'm gonna place them right on you, okay? Okay, and for you, there's gonna be two strips on each, on each chakra point in a kind of crisscross position. And again, I'm just going to ask you specifically for this one chakra point down here at the base of your spine. Is it okay if I go right down there at the base? Or would you prefer me to go up a couple inches? Okay, you got it. Alright, so let's go ahead and you're going to feel me placing the first strip on a diagonal right down here on your skin. Okay. Can you feel that? It's nice and warm, right? <laughs> A lot of people find it very relaxing. Okay. So this again is your root chakra. All these main chakras that run up and down the center of your body have colors associated with them. And this one is associated with the color red. The root chakra is associated with um, survival, uh, stability, security, having a stable foundation, a strong and stable foundation. People with an imbalance in their root chakra, uh, that can manifest in a lot of different ways. Uh, some of those ways are they might have a feeling of really scattered energy or anxiety, kind of a lot of general feelings of fear in their life, anything to do with feeling kind of insecure or unstable in a really foundational way. All right, putting the second one on here. And then the uh, body systems that are associated with this root chakra are uh, bones, bladder, and elimination system, and the legs and feet. Yeah, so again, each chakra has kind of uh, mental, emotional, spiritual elements, as well as associations to different parts of your body. And there's some overlap with different ones, but I'm kind of giving you a overview. Alright, now moving up to the sacral chakra, your second one up here. Over your spine and your lower back. This is your, this is your orange chakra. So yeah, from the front it would kind of be right below your navel. So it sort of uh, corresponds with the reproductive system for anyone who has a uterus. And it's connected to uh, emotionality as well as a person's sexuality and um, it's their creative center as well. So people have a imbalance in their sacral chakra, they might experience uh, a lack of creativity, or like a blocked or repressed feeling when it comes to their creative efforts. It can relate to uh, sexual dysfunction, uh, feelings of emotional isolation, and then in a more physical sense, it can be associated with issues with the reproductive system and sexual organs, as well as the circulatory system. It's like your veins and arteries, mostly. Put one on the diagonal here. And another one right here, going the other way. Good. Alright, how are you doing so far? 
hands feel okay? Should I warm them up again? All right. So next we have your third chakra, the solar plexus. And I'm gonna be placing that one on this spot on your back right here, okay? On the front, it would be below your chest. Like if you put your hand uh, across your abdomen, just above your belly button, it would kind of be in that space between the top of your hand and your rib cage. This one is associated with the color yellow. It's the center for personal power and motivation, as well as willpower and feelings of energy. So people who have imbalances in the solar plexus chakra, they might see stuff like feelings of low self-esteem or uh, control issues. People with imbalances in the solar plexus area might also find that they have issues with uh, tending towards maybe being a little manipulative or controlling misuse of power or feelings of powerlessness. And then physically, this third chakra is associated with your muscular system, your digestive system, the uh, stomach and intestines, as well as the liver and the adrenal glands here up in the top of your kidneys. So I'm placing one on the diagonal side here. And on a diagonal in the opposite direction. There we go. Moving up to the center of your mid-back here. Okay, it's gonna be on this spot on your back right here. Okay. And this is your heart chakra. It's associated with the color green. On the front, it would be right in the center of your chest. And this is your center for compassion and all kinds of love. So not just romantic love, but self-love, love for others. I've heard some people refer to it as the happiness center, associated with feelings of harmony, and is also strongly associated with your relationships with other people in general. So imbalances with this fourth chakra, the heart chakra, symptoms might be uh, feelings of isolation, having a lot of deep or long-held grudges, depression is a big one, uh, jealousy, a lot of people who have imbalances in the heart chakra might have different types of intimacy problems. I think it's... <laughs> important to note here that it's not necessarily that you'll just have an imbalance and it causes these other issues. The river kind of flows both ways with this. Does that make sense? So it's not just that the imbalance causes these issues, but that having these issues can also cause an imbalance and therefore treating the chakras and bringing them more into balance can put you in a better place for healing or correcting some of these issues, okay? Or even, depending on your situation, just to kind of support you and shore you up while you're dealing with these issues. Okay, and then physically, as you might have guessed, it's associated with the heart, as well as the lungs and the arms and hands. Placing one across right here. And the second one's gonna go on right here. Perfect. Okay, and moving up. Just gonna give you a quick little tap here on the back of your neck. Okay. So that's where we're gonna go for your fifth chakra, which is your throat chakra. On the front, it would just be your throat. It's associated with the color blue, and this is your center for communication, self-expression, for speaking your truth. So associated imbalances there might be issues with shyness or withdrawal, anxiety here as well. 
Whereas an imbalance in kind of the other direction might be someone who struggles with um, arrogance. And then physically, it's associated with your throat and neck, your shoulders, thyroid gland, and your uh, respiratory system. It kind of links up with the heart chakra that way. Where the heart chakra is more associated with your lungs specifically, and the throat chakra is kind of your airway leading up and out of your lungs. Okay, so placing more on the cross on the diagonal right here. That should feel nice and warm. There we go. I can actually feel your muscles relaxing under my touch. That's great. Okay. So, slightly different technique here. To the back of your head. Okay. So, right here, I'm going to be placing two strips for your third eye. In the front, that'd be, you know, right between your eyes and just up a tiny bit. Your sixth chakra is associated with the color indigo, so a nice deep blue-purple kind of color. It's associated with intuition, imagination, um, foresight, wisdom, and uh, openness to different ideas. So. An imbalance there can indicate uh, a general lack of direction and clarity in life. Really common struggle for a lot of people. I don't know about you, but I see that a lot in my clients. So if that's something you struggle with, know that you are very much not alone. Uh, an imbalance can indicate feeling stuck in life or a situation where maybe someone's either indulging in too many illusions and fantasies. Of course, having dreams can be super healthy and important, but there can of course also be ways in which they can be unhealthy. So, people are having kind of a fogginess, feeling like they don't have a direct line to their center of wisdom, or someone who's really struggling to entertain any thoughts or ideas beyond whatever they currently deeply hold. That can be a thing. And physically, this one's associated with your forehead and your temple area, as well as your eyes and your pineal gland. I'm gonna go ahead and place the first one right here. One more over here. Great. Finally, I'm gonna give you a little tap on the top of the head here. So right here on the very tip top of your head, that's where we're gonna treat for your crown chakra, your seventh chakra. It's associated with the color violet. A nice vibrant, light purple color, and that's associated with uh, general consciousness and divine connection. A balance there can look like uh, a lot of feelings of cynicism, uh, also close-mindedness, uh, but mostly a disconnection with sense of spirituality or value system, whatever that means to you. Some people feel very comfortable not having a strong spiritual connection, and that's fine. Um, but for those who feel kind of adrift or cut off or not connected to spirituality in the way that they would like to be, that's what I'm talking about as far as what we might see for an imbalance there. 
And physically, this one is really connected to your whole mind and body. Um, but more specifically, your brain and nervous system, as well as your pituitary gland. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Gotta get a little closer here, excuse me. I'm gonna place one right here. Okay, does that feel okay? So we're going to let those set for a little bit. I'm going to do a little guided relaxation and then I will go ahead and move them. I'll clean up your back and you'll be all set. Okay, so to begin with, it's up to you whether you want your eyes open or closed. I often recommend eyes closed for these guided relaxations, but there are definitely people who find the experience more effective with their eyes open or more comfortable with their eyes open. That's totally fine. You know you best. So eyes open or closed, it's up to you. I'd like you to begin by taking a few nice deep breaths in. Hold and breathe out. Again, breathing in, hold, breathe out, and let's do one more together, breathing in, hold, breathe out, good, and I'm going to gently tap you on the top of the head again, right here. And in this spot right here, I want you to imagine a warm beam of sunlight coming down and bathing the top of your head here in just the warmest, most perfect temperature for you. I know some people like to imagine something quite warm and some people prefer something not so intense. Whatever makes you feel good and safe and cozy. So imagine that beam of sunlight filtering down in a steady stream on the top of your head right here. Warming the top of your head. Now imagine that light Spreading down the back of your head. I'm gonna touch you on the back of the head right here. Okay? So imagine that warm light spreading from the top of your head down the back of your head. Bathing the whole of your scalp and the back of your head in soft, warm light. You can feel all the little muscles in your scalp relaxing. A lot of people don't think about having tension in their scalp, but a lot of people do. So imagine all those muscles here and back here, warm and deeply relaxed. I'm going to touch you again on the back of the neck right here, okay? Imagine the light spreading down, down from the top of your head, down the back of your head, and traveling down, spreading over the back of your neck. All the muscles in the back of your neck, those muscles that work so hard, keep your head upright. Imagine them feeling warm, relaxed cozy and safe. Okay, I'm gonna touch your back again. I'm gonna go from the back of your neck here, bring my fingers down to right here, your heart chakra area on your back here. 
So imagine the light, that beautiful warm light that's coming down the top of your head, back of your head, back of your neck, down, spreading down to your upper back. You can feel your shoulders, your back muscles, warm and relaxed, feeling so good. Moving down a little bit more to this area here, your solar plexus area. That warm light is traveling down, spreading down over the skin of your back and sinking into the muscles so that now your mid-back is feeling warm and relaxed. Moving down to your lower back right here. Down, down, to your lower back area, and then finally down to the very base of your spine, your whole back base, in warm, wonderful light. And for a moment, you can imagine the light spreading down your shoulders, arms, and hands, warm. Deeply relaxed. And then finally, turn your hips, your thighs, knees, legs, and feet. Warm. Warm and relaxed. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and start removing them. It won't hurt at all. I make a little bit of a noise, almost like a bandage coming off. But it's not uncomfortable, I promise. So starting down here at the root chakra, removing more of it. And do. Moving up to the sacral one, remove the first strip. And the second one, that's looking great. Okay, and up to the solar plexus here, removing the top. over your heart chakra. I'm moving the top strip. And then the bottom strip. Gonna move up to the back of your neck here. Let's move one and two. The back of your head. to the side here. Grab my spray bottle one more time. Okay. Gonna give you a quick warm spritz here. Okay, starting up at the top again, just wiping you down real quick. Are 
you feeling? You look great. Okay. Well, thank you for so much for coming in today. It was an absolute pleasure working with you. I'd love to have you back anytime you want to come back. Uh, if you want to just hang out there for a little while, rest. You can even take a nap if you'd like. I don't have any more clients coming in for a few hours. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we made a lot of progress today. Okay. Well, absolute joy working with you, and I hope to see you again real soon. Hello. So, you are here for an energy sculpting. If you're not familiar with what that is, I'll tell you briefly, while I examine your aura, if you don't mind. Now, unlike a traditional Reiki practitioner or energy healer, I may pull out some of your energy, I may manipulate some of your energy, but I don't send it away. I don't take it away and send it to another place. No, no. I take your energy, all of it, and rather than get rid of any perfectly good energy, I simply manipulate it. I sculpt it. I shape it. I breathe new life into it, and then, when it's been completely reshaped, I put it back into your aura. Are you ready? Excellent. So with your permission, I will begin. And please, don't forget that since this energy is still connected to you, um, as I work with it, or speak to it, or touch it, uh, you may be able to hear it or feel it as if it were still in your aura, um, because it still is intensely connected to you. Don't be alarmed by that. It's all perfectly natural. All right, so to begin, I'm going to pull some energy directly from your face, beginning here, pulling it out, and here, just reaching in, and pulling it out, and now that I have a little bit of your energy, I'm going to play with it just a little. So that I can fully understand its properties before I begin working with it. And now, I'll begin to sculpt and pull sculpt and pull and push it back in pull and push pull and push and there we go okay I'm going to speak to it a little bit You won't be able to understand any of the things I'm saying to it. That's perfectly normal. Okay. Good. 
You have beautifully pliable energy. That means there we go. It means that you're a very resilient person. You may be able to see my hands trembling a bit. That's normal. Your energy is quite powerful. And so I'm naturally having to use all of my concentration and power to sculpt and Take some more from up here, pulling it out. Oh, this one's stubborn. There we go. Good. And there we go. Feeling the energy, testing its shape, and good. I can only sense certain things from your energy, but I can tell by how resilient it is that you have quite a few stories to tell, don't you? I can tell that you are quite a bit stronger than probably even you realize. Okay. I'm going to send it back to you. If you could, take a deep breath in. Breathe out. And then the next breath in, I'll send it back. So, breathe in. There you go. I'm going to smooth it in. some energy from up here. Pulling it out. Pulling it out. Pull, pull, pull. Okay. Gonna get a little bit more. See ya stubborn ball of energy right here. So I'm going to reach in and pull it out. Good. Okay. Just gorgeous. Your 
you're full of secrets, aren't you? <laughs> Don't worry. I can't see them. I can only see shades of you. And you have more shades than most. Look at it glow now. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So, I'm just going to reshape it a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go, I like that. <laughs> now once again, I'm going to gather it up and send it back into you. So breathe in. Breathe out. And breathe in. Good. Let's smooth it back. going to shape it a little bit on your body, if that's okay. I won't be touching your body. I will be touching your energy field, though. You may hear the energy responding. that I'm going to take from your throat chakra right here. And uh, as you probably know, the throat chakra is closely linked with uh, communication and expression. So don't be surprised if starting after this session you find it a little bit easier to say those things that you've been trying to say but haven't come out quite the way you want it. It should be a little easier after this, so I'm going to reach in and pull it out. Grab some energy and pull it out. Oh. I 
there's a lot of blocked energy in there. Just gonna, gonna fiddle around in there a little bit. Okay. So, what this is telling me is that You're struggling a little with expressing yourself, and um, possibly not just with words. There may be some other way that you express yourself, and you're having a little bit of trouble, blockage, that could be lack of inspiration, fear, what feels like some sort of physical difficulty, it could be any of those things, I, I can't tell. Again, like I said, I can only see in shades, but there's a lot of blocked, sticky energy here, so we're gonna pull that out. Rework it, we're going to put it back, and we're going to unblock it, okay? Here we go, okay. It's going to need some good massaging here. And needs good stretching and yeah there we go your energy likes this quite It's just melting under my touch. Ooh, let's bring it all in and there we go. Very gently, just Give you a good breath. There it is. There it is. All right, now. You ready? Breathe in. Breathe out.
vibrant, energetic energy you have. Mm. Of course. I do love my job, but some people are more fun to work with than others. up a little bit over here and okay. and over your eyes we want to make sure we have a nice smooth energy surface here and then we'll do some work on your third eye area too are you ready Keep your eyes open or closed, it doesn't matter, I'm just working with the energy field. Good. Very good. Now, your third eye. Smoothing out the energy over your eyes, over your third eye, your crown chakra. Restoring it so that its very best light shines through. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's been a pleasure to work with you. Please do come back soon.